Dave, when you're on that final hard point, map one, what is going through your mind as you and Ilya are just dancing? To be honest, like I was just listening. I, like I was listening to my teammates because they were saying, stay up, stay up. And I've been in that situation many times in practice. So like I kind of had a you know idea of how to play it. And in that moment when it's so intense, I was just doing whatever came to me subconsciously and I was just doing it naturally. Did it mean more to have won it in such close circumstances to get over the line where things were such a knife Yeah, it was big for two reasons. One of the reasons is that like historically so far this year, we've been losing a lot of close games and you know it's really hard on us you know losing a close game you know maybe we'd be thinking here we go again and also the second big way is uh map one win i mean also historically when we win map one we usually win the series so it was you know big in those two reasons for us speaking of that hard point you guys had to reset the listen-in was going on on your side really oh. <laughs> wait what are you talking about map one yeah when yeah, it reset yeah. it was listening to us so we heard you guys lose full <laughs> yeah you guys wait really yeah. <laughs> i don't even know that i wasn't even up on the stage what, what were you guys saying we were saying like oh you know we, we had them we had them you know i'll go do it again and then like on like you know we had that moment of losing full but after that we talked about all right how are we changing our approach next hard point what did we learn in this moment that we can bring to this reset so yeah. Yeah. i mean as, it's like similar to the map three like we kind of got smoked like that map i literally went up there and i just said who cares like it doesn't matter at all like the plan never changes like even if you have a bad map i mean they won the first offense scump got the streets right away like maps pretty much over you guys countered optic pretty well on that berlin search what things did you guys see on the map and were you specifically prepared for them well berlin s and d like for most of this year has been one of our stronger maps and kind of optics i think recently the only thing that could that beat us on that map and we remembered going into the map what they did to us to beat us so we adapted and then ended up working out really well i don't even think like necessarily like we hard countered them though i think it was just more so us like if you look at that boston series i was really upset that we lost two s and d's like if you look across our roster you see like four really good snd players so that series the next series i was like it doesn't even matter if we lose a map like i want to see us like playing with some balls like that that last series we were like we were just playing so slow and, and like almost like super indecisive and like scared almost so that's like that was our goal going into that series against optic it wasn't more so it was more so just playing our game rather than theirs like hard countering them. You guys all had your moments today, but Sky's someone who is yeah. getting a lot of attention, a lot of discussion yeah. around him. What makes him so effective? Well, I mean, he's been an underrated player for a long time. You know, he's been on with the Florida Mutant years. You know, last year he like didn't have much success, but he has a chip on his shoulder and knows that he's one of the top players and that he should be on a top team. So really, you know, you said he was putting it all into that series that he's going to make sure that we come out with that dub. That dude was literally doing it all in game, but like something the fans or like people don't understand is he was doing it all like out of game too, or like in the comms of that, that series. Like at the end of that burst, Berlin hard point like it kind of got a little like sketch at some point like he was just like screaming like take routes don't like force this because like we've had scrims in the past where we're like 10 20 points away from winning and then we'll just try to like rush it and in this game if you do that especially at, like a match like this like you can get get uh, like funneled really hard and they get streaks and then you're just in a spot you're like fuck you know going to my five do you guys want to play next i don't think it matters yeah either it's fine i mean again we beat the reigning champs you know i'm ready to take on anyone surprise honestly when we, when we went out on stage originally we were like talking about before the match like oh you know get ready to get booed you know you know optic you know they make you know they really want to pile it on you with the fans you know have that advantage so i mean beating optic and like I, growing up i was a fan of optic so you know it, like i played them online but on stage is way different because i used to be kind of one of those fans in the crowd screaming for optic you know now i'm against them so i mean it's kind of a surreal feeling, you know, Scump. You know, I, like I, that guy's been an inspiration for me. It was, you know, really cool beating him. You guys think the rest of the league elevated their game for this major after seeing how Optic formed in Major 1? I mean, maybe, I don't know if I would say because of, like, Optic and FaZe doing well. I think it's just how it is every year. Like, teams always get better as the year goes on. And those two teams just happen to have the talent and also, like, the coaching staff and just the mentality to get good at the game super early.